are two graphics cards in one system still worth it guys in this video we're gonna break it down we're gonna do a one versus two graphics card in the various of different games to find out if yeah if it's motivating to uh, pay up for another graphics card in sli or crossfire guys i am super psyched let's get started all right let's see let's see are we running all right so hey how is it going guys robin here on chips media bringing you the best tips and tools for gaming on this channel you'll find pc components tech gadgets and console accessories as well as product reviews if you're interested in that consider subscribing in this video we're gonna take a look at dual graphics cards if they still are worth it in this day and age and with that said who let's go all right so with nvidia's 10th series they almost completely closed the gate of the chance of running dual gpus only the 1070 and the 1080 are equipped with a sli port leaving everything below the 1070 out of luck here including the highly popular gtx 1060 and the gtx 1050 now why would nvidia make such a harsh decision of dropping the sli port you may ask the obvious answer would be to force the customer to buy more expensive gpus instead of uh, for example buy a single gtx 1060 now and buy another one perhaps from the used market later down the road now guys i am interested to hear what you think clearly nvidia have thought this through they make more money by going this route i'm sure otherwise they would have kept the sli port simple as that now another reason why they skipped the dual mode might have to do with the compatibility in games scalability and the time it takes to optimize each game for dual gpu mode now nvidia isn't marketing sli as much as they did before so if it turns out that sli nowadays now sucks it would justify why they are not market it as much as before so guys i was curious to see if dual graphics cards still are a thing as it was in the good old days where nvidia supported three-way sli and even four-way sli to find up i've lined up a couple of games to try this in games we're gonna try sli it's gonna be witcher 3 graphics theft out of five fortnite and last and definitely not least arc survival evolved a one versus two graphics cards will the fps increase 100 if you add another graphics card that is the question now here's a few notes i have been using the latest nvidia driver as of making this video also the settings in each game are maxed out that means everything is in the ultra highest possible settings every single setting possible we're running in 1080p we got vsync off and we're not running overclock gpus here also we got the gtx 970 this time with the msi twin frozer cooler with 4 gigs of gddr5 running in 8 times speed in pcie 2.0 and yeah that's pretty much it guys let's yeah let's just do it all right it is time to do some testing and first game's gotta be ah witcher 3 that's right on the top hand left hand side is that how you say you got gpu we got mem and we got a number the number that i'm referring to is the frame rate something to keep an eye on yeah right next to gpu we got uh, the temperatures uh in celsius we got uh, how much the cpu is being utilized in percent and uh, yeah we got the uh, core clock as well as well as the memory clock speed underneath so that is uh, the numbers to uh, to have an eye on obviously the number underneath memory is the most important one as you can see guys i'm just verifying that the game is actually running in the absolute maximum settings uh, and yeah, as you can see now we are jumping into the scene where by the way guys let me know if you played witcher 3 let me know your thoughts and uh, yeah right now i am replaying the game for a second time right now i am about to uh yeah to take on the griffin so hopefully no spoilers here this is just one hour gameplay into the game so uh hopefully no spoilers again <laughs> yeah as you can see guys we are looking at 
frame rates around 50 to 45 down to 30 so between 40 ish and 50 frames with a single graphics card now now let's spice things up a notch by adding another graphics card straight back into the game with another graphics card and as you can see guys uh yeah we are looking at high numbers now uh somewhere around 80 to uh, even 90 in some angles i guess <laughs> but definitely over the 60 frame rate mark you gotta keep in mind now we are running the game in the absolute maximum settings everything is maxed out to this point and uh, gotta say guys pretty impressed with the result we are running on graphics cards from 2014 which is a bit sad if you think about it but but yeah the gtx 970 is equal to the uh, gtx 1060 to give you guys some sort of reference there but yeah the sad thing about the 1060 is that you cannot run that card in sli nvidia um oh, let's just say they pissed on us all right anyway let's jump into the next game in line we got arc every dinosaur lover outer and uh, yeah chose this game because i wanted to try a super demanding game something quite popular something that could really utilize the graphics cards as well so we're starting out with one graphics card just wanted to make sure that the game is in fact running in its maximum settings which apparently it was decided to join a server on ragnarok created a character and as you can see guys we are facing between 20 and 40 fps quite bad and i gotta say uh not sure if the uh, video makes justice here but yeah i gotta say it's not a pleasant experience it is choppy it's soggy can you use that word here i don't know but it, it wasn't a pleasant experience i gotta say now let's see here let's pop another graphics card in and here we go guys just wanted to verify the settings again see we are running maximum settings every settings is on the absolute maximum here now gotta say guys i'm super sorry for the uh, the blurriness here tried to get the focus right but for some reason it kept focusing on rick sanchez there in the right hand side super sorry for that but as you can see guys we are looking at 80 to 90 fps this time that's almost 100 percent increase in fps with another graphics card in which is super super interesting so it seems like nvidia is scaling super nicely in this game now keep in mind this game is using the unreal engine 4 i'm almost 100 sure and uh, yeah it's a game that uh, clearly is well optimized with two graphics card now let's see let's see what do we got let's yeah let's jump into fortnite so let's jump into the most popular game of 2018 this is fortnite guys believe it or not just gotta make sure everything is up to date everything is running on its ultra settings or as uh, or as epic like to say let's see what do we what what do they call it let's see yeah they call it epic of course they call it epic everything is running in epic settings and yeah here we go all right starting up the game let's see let's see let's see what do we got we got oh that is actually pretty good let's see 80 to 90 fps solid 90 all right going down to 80 even 100 at some points but definitely over the 60 fps mark which is quite good i gotta say uh now keep in mind this is a well optimized game it's been out for fun fact guys i think this game was announced back in 2011 that's a long time ago <clears throat> as you can see guys we are looking at 80 to 90 perhaps 80 or 70 fps here it's quite impressive gotta say now let's see let's throw in another graphics card here we go two graphics cards god that is uh that is that is about the same that is just about the same i don't see any that's just about this i mean there's no, there's almost no difference here what the hell see look at that 80 to 90 it's the same all right so apparently fortnite does not benefit from 
more than one graphics card super interesting to see now so with that in mind it seems like some game developers maybe isn't utilizing the second gpu as much that's for sure that's definitely for sure all right so fourth title guys this is a big one we got gta 5 and once again i kind of messed up the camera uh the focus is a bit off here it saddens me to watch this uh such a pleb now look at this pleb playing around and he has no idea what he's doing anyway let's see let's see let's see so i decided to run around for some bit but then i decided to uh hey there's a built-in benchmark you can just run the benchmark instead robin so i decided to fire up the benchmark guys and uh, yeah this is the results before i started the benchmark i just wanted to verify that everything was in fact maxed out which it is now now gotta keep in mind that some settings are impacting the performance a lot more than others for example the density and the grass the grass density i should say is doing a huge impact on the uh yeah the overall uh, frame rate of course and as you can see now i am quiet i am right now maxing out the vram we only got four gigs of vram on this graphics card believe it or not let's see all right so we got an alert message here this is it now starting up the benchmark let's see let's see what do we got temperatures on the graphics cards are running pretty cool at this point 48 degrees all right so here we go so here we go 50 60 60 fps anyway we're looking at frame rates of 50 to 40 fps as it seems not quite getting that 60 fps golden cap that we wanna see now let's see let's add another graphics card oh here we go another graphics card and again blurriness welcome to to blurry town 2.0 uh, this is your host robin hosting this blurry afternoon from a blurry blurry sweden uh, playing a game called uh, gta in blurry blurry anyway this is uh, super unfortunate guys i'm so sorry for this How about that right we got 70 to 60 we're definitely over the 60 mark this time running at 70 to even 80 and we even reached the 100 mark that is quite impressive now keep in mind i am running the game in the absolute maximum settings we are at this point maxing out the vram so the, it would have probably looked a little bit different if we had more vram from the first place yeah i also gotta say that we are running some mods in the background so that might impact the frames uh, in a negative way as well but yeah overall i'm quite happy with the results we are not seeing 100 increase in typical games when you add another graphics card but the increase is definitely there so if you're looking for a cheap way to upgrade yeah you should be able to at least see maybe 50 to even 70 or even 80 to 90 percent increase with another graphics card which i think it's quite impressive having in mind that this is a cheap upgrade so if you got the space in your case you got you got enough power and you have the uh, the ability to run sli on your motherboard this is definitely something to consider in my opinion seeing two graphics cards in your case is pretty yeah, it's it's not it's a nice feeling it's almost like running with two engines in the car it's it's it makes me excited all right now guys i want to know are you running sli are you thinking about running sli or crossfire or what are your overall thoughts on two graphics cards let me know in the comments below